How are you doing, Nasty? I know that's what you want to call this star, but... Not right now, I mean, seriously? Twitch guidelines and all? What character did you make? An acolyte for Dark Hershey. Nice, nice. Judge Dread, nice. Have you ever tried playing the Judge Dread tabletop game? I should get you the PDF sometime. And welcome to the stream. And yes, there is a Judge Dread tabletop game. It is old as sin, but there is indeed one. So are we ready to continue? With Miles, is it an RPG? Yeah, it's a table. It's a tabletop RPG. Um. Yeah. So, welcome back. Last time we were, Edgeworth still hadn't officially asked us to defend him yet. Uh, I know calls and stuff. <laughs> that's that's essentially what your status on Discord should be. I want to play more TTRPGs. But, yeah, Edgeworth hadn't told us, hadn't asked us to defend him yet, so we're, we're still investigating now. Turn him out, goodbyes. Yeah, yeah so what was a lot of hearts just went to talk to the police. <laughs> Look at this man. Okay. Oh, shut up, Maya. You won't press for 5e. You see, part of me would be okay with when the Humblewood Adventure Book comes out, I'll, I'll I'd be okay with that. Larry, he actually has a job. <laughs> he sells samurai dogs dressed up as Santa. Beyonce. My girl, Kionse. <laughs> you go, girlfriend. Larry. Larry, she's 17. Which, 
I mean, in Ireland, I think, is actually legal, but, you know, we're going to go 18 as standard, because it's the internet in Amer and the internet is America-centric. The little sister. Yeah. In Japan, yeah. Although, didn't they change it recently? Uh... I thought there was a push to bring it up to 18. And take care of a little sister. Larry's an idiot. He's an idiot that's not, like, malicious. He's just... He's a benign idiot. Himbo. <laughs> You're wasting time. I thought it was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. Larry. Keonse's up in terror now. Oh, Larry. Guess who has sugar daddies? That scoundrel Larry. <laughs> they all went to school together or something. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, thought so. What is grade school? What age is grade school? Because that's not a thing here. <laughs> Tell me about the dogs! I think that's high school? Or was grade school... Part of me always thought grade school was like below high school, but I don't know where. Or is it after high school? I don't know. Why are they samurai dogs? Bored. Yeah, Larry, we know. You told us. Change the name and you go, girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know if Larry gets any attention. Big news? Oh, is that Gordy or something? Yeah, I thought so. Let's talk about Edgeworth. We were best friendos. Ah, oh, one of those daddy issue kinds. Famous defense lawyer. Yeah, and Edgeworth is prosecutor. Got a proboscis on his name. Okay. Shut up, Assy. <laughs> There's a stain. Okay, so Phoenix knows and he's just not the same. A giant mysterious monster, Gordy. Oh, I know it. Gordy shot. The guy. We don't know his name yet. 
Vamos a un. <laughs> a real monster. It is in Scotland. Heard a loud bang like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Interesting. A Japan, Scotland, US hybrid, by the way. Yep, I'll give him a million. Okay, that's... what do we have to present? It's why you can't pay me. Yeah, exactly. Pay your bills. Pay your... pay your... to... to... to, to borrow... Uh, Texas quote about Comstock. Pay your bills, fucko. Get that or your dogs, you don't have any luck for the customers. Anything with a camera? Oh, yeah. Don't know what a camera is? Junior high graduate. <laughs> Larry, I think you're too much of an idiot to understand what a uh, sound operated camera is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why can't we show him all the evidence and he has it all to say about everything? Me. Okay, nothing else to talk to him about. Anyone at the boat rental? No. Anyone at the entrance? No. Uh, criminal affairs? Yes. Not a gum soon. Well, there we go. She's off talking to the popo. Oh, no one there. What if I go back here? Oh, yeah, seems so. <laughs> Show me the, the, the dead body thing again, please. That guy. He was a lawyer that was at the office me have worked at. Yep, Grossbergs. Apart from one case, I think the rest of this game centers around... Uh, oh, so, the, so, the first case was just Larry. That was me, and then me gets killed and everything about White. Get her, and then there's that. Then there is the Steel Samurai case, which is completely separate. And this case just ties back in with her and me and everything. Well, let's go to Grossberg again. He still hasn't got us his picture. Man. <laughs> Me is something.
like the scent of fresh lemon. The fuck? Yeah, we need to talk about this guy. Okay, what happened? There's... Does he know anything about it? Just got up. That's fair. Shot someone with a pistol. Uh, well, he didn't. We're saying that he is accused of it, not that he actually did. Okay, so he had no idea. Why not? Oh, I can't claim it as stolen. Okay, so you can't get it back. Although, technically you could argue that he was coerced. Uh, let's go through everything. <laughs> camera, anything to say about the camera? Some of these, these people tend to talk a lot more. We have shooting stars. Okay. Yeah, because, again, meteor showers don't make noise. Do the you'll do the autopsy last. Okay... Okay, for sure that's Angela. Well, it's not strictly damning. Yeah, that's how we came to you. He was a lawyer. Right. Hammond, Robert Hammond. Is that a is that a pun name I'm not getting? Okay, let's talk about Robert Hammond. He's a defense attorney in that case. DL6. Remember Remember Remember, 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 remember. In in the case with Mia, there were two pictures on Grossberg's desk. One of red, white, and one of uh, someone else. And the on the back of them were marked DL6 incidents, like Exhibit A, Exhibit B. Use a spirit medium. Mm -hmm. Seems so. Okay, let's talk about this DL6 incident. 15 years ago. <laughs> Sad music. Of the charges being laid against one man. Hound won the case, suspect is declared innocent. Something's wrong there. DL6, right. Uh huh. That's why he became a prosecutor. Defense attorney got the murderer off the hook, and he won. He won overcompensated. So the current motive that they're going to use against Edgeworth in court is that he shot the guy who 
got his father's murder off the hook. Misty Faye's photo. What did he say about that? Yeah, I know. Show this photograph to Miles Edgeworth. Okay then, I guess we move the detention center? What's this? What's this? There's bullshit everywhere. What's this? Uh, yeah, it is Mbly. Let's show him the photo. Just straight up show him the photo. Yeah, and... Yeah. That's because we are ace attorneys. We're always single-minded in your work, though. What's this? What's <laughs> you literally told me you thought I wasn't up for the job. I think it would have been better for me to stay away. Yeah, okay. Uh, confess your love, Edgeworth, then. Look at this badge! Okay, let's present. And let's say about that. Photo. Yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. He said he didn't do it. Perfect. We already did that. Let us talk. The DL6 incident. Father was shooted. Was that a lift? Okay. The defense mechanism, in any case. Suspect was arrested. A man. The same thing. Robert Hammond cleared the suspect's name. Yeah, so the, the motive is pretty strong to show that Edworth would have had a reason to shoot him. About to end. Okay, what about it? There's a limitation on the case runs out in three days. And it's three days for a trial, of course. Well, that never happened. This can't be legislated. It can't be re ruled on. Innocent. Disappear from public view. Nobody knows where to. Be about 50. I wonder if... What's his name? Red White could give us information. It'd be worth asking him. Gregory Edgeworth. Gregeworth. Ah, uh, he feels like he doesn't live up to it. <laughs> Maya just ch ch chips in with a really upbeat attitude of the worst moment. Of course we will. Pay him back? What for? They don't need to milk, correct. 
Awesome. Now we burn it and just let him go to jail. Perfect. Earthquake? Is... does he have a fear of earthquakes? Okay, interesting. And let's... let's go to Gumshoe then. So, how are people doing? What are people's thoughts on the case so far? <laughs> Came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. You're going around find <laughs> Why are you finding more witnesses? Because it's the fucking law. This should be what I'm doing your job, Gumshoe. Yes. Uh Okay, what about her testimony? No, she didn't. It was foggy. Yeah, it's foggy, you can't tell. Is she going to enlarge the photo? It'll drop the quality of mic, but let's see who's who. The weakest parts of these games. Yeah. You can't just zoom and enhance. She's testifying tomorrow. A cancellation? We got a witness this very moment of the murder. We got a photo taken when the shot rang out. Hmm. If he's innocent, there's got to be something overlooked. Basically, yeah. Uh, why are the tags for my stream just breaking? Sorry, I'm just redoing the tags because they fucking broke. Um, there we go. Okay, what are your thoughts on Edgeware? I mean, yeah, we have we have the letter here. Yeah, we have the thing here. Let me fucking show you. Present. Look at this. Attorney's letter. Perfect. Uh, so, actually, here's an issue I've just thought of. Uh, Gumshoe tends to fuck up whatever side is relying on him, and if we're relying on him, is he gonna fuck up for us? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we saw him curl into a ball. Okay. Does that mean that today's over? Was... was his mother killed by an earthquake? <laughs> Fuck it, he ball. Transferred to the school after that. Hmm. 
Yep, save please. There, yes. What could we ball him? Uh, December 26th. 9.44. Manfred von Karma. Manfred von Karma. A god of prosecution. They were gonna do anything. Is a man to be feared? <laughs> yeah, fucking Edward forging fucking evidence. As vicious as him multiplied by a factor of ten. Something like that. Yeah, is it? You see, she's always made right, yeah. But also the fact is, is that it... Is this some sort of conflict of interest? If... If... Manfred von Karma was, like, his mentor? Would that be a conflict of interest? <laughs> That's pretty ruthless. <laughs> hey, Maya, can you just call Mia, please? Hmm. She can't. Well, I suppose Mia deserves... Am I Phoenix Wright Games? Hell no. <laughs> <sighs> this is why you have to get on that grind set, Maya. This is why you have to do that. Do those brain lunges, those brain deadlifts. It's nothing. Trying to, trying to get the ghost of my of my mentor to inhabit uh, her sister's body to help me in the trial. You know, nothing that technically breaks judicial rules. Miles Edgeworth. Holy crap, that suit. Cool. Ah, oh, he's a dick. <laughs> Decisive evidence. Decisive witness. Oh, Judge, shut the fuck up. What about the defense's opening testimony? Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, so we have Gumshoe and we have a lot of hearts. That's gonna come up, right? Describe the incident now. Okay, map. We're we'll about to use this map in the future, so we're going to have to focus right now. Around midnight, there was one boat in the very middle of the lake. Two men on the boat. Woman camping. Two? How how do you know it's a pistol shot? That wouldn't there wouldn't there have been more than one photo? The victim died from a single shot. She heard two shots. She only presented one photo. So where is the second photo? Hmm. <laughs> oh god. This guy would be thrown out so hard. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. The judge has the power to like get him, get him referred to the disciplinary board. 
man called into the station. Okay, this is the full testimony at the scene of the crime. This is where we found Mr. Edgeware. The body was found in the lake. So you had to arrest him. Hmm. <laughs> You begin cross. Okay, we're gonna have to press everything. I'm not sure there's any evidence that uh, contradicts. Woman can be. That voice. What the fuck? That's not an objection. Okay. Yeah, remember that there's the other guy that decided not to testify? Hmm. Head to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. How long did it take? Yeah. But th that's... that's fast. Let's get there quick. I am casually revealing department secrets. How was get there of a vast department secret? Yeah, literally. We found Edgeworth. What do you mean by found? Was he... Yeah, what was he like? Looked pretty relaxed. Facts on opinion. Uh, you see, the thing is, though, is, as a detective, isn't he... Isn't he allowed to, um put forward his opinion as an expert. To be fair, we do too, Phoenix. Yes, for how we look, that's always going to be subjective, yeah. We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Wow, Karma is shutting him up every moment. Yeah, this guy is completely shutting Gumshoe down. Any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. Cut to the heart fatally. The judge, here's the bullet. A 22 caliber to the heart. That would kill. And the murder weapon in the boat. That's a big 22. Okay, again, I'm not seeing a contradiction. <laughs> Fingerprints pistol found in the bones. Okay. That meant, he pay that meant he held the gun. That didn't necessarily mean he shot the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Fired three times. Bears Prince from Edward's right hand. So the victim was shot once. Two shots were heard by the victim, but the pistol was shot three times. Uh, 
Okay. That's fine. They match. <laughs> just... Just drag her through the mud. Sure, why not? Okay. Actually... <laughs> Judge, you explain. Like the fingerprints of a gun. Viral leaves distinctive marks on each bullet of fires. See which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Yeah, he's an asshole. That still only means he held the gun at one point, but doesn't mean he actually shot him. Almost decisive. We don't have even had a chance to defend him. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. He's just demanding a 10 minute recess. He is such a dickhole. <laughs> We're basically pushing against the judge at this point. Yeah, why why don't you tell us everything that happened? Was that you in the boat? Yes. <laughs> I did I did not hit her. I did not. Oh hi Phoenix. You're a gunshot from very close by. And the other man fell from the boat. Thought that he had shot himself. So that's what I thought. Edgeworth wasn't holding the gun at first. It's not Edgeworth that was holding the gun in that photo. Ed the guy probably dropped the gun as he fell in, and Edgeworth picked it up. Well, we're just going to do it ourselves. Oh. No, I need you here. That's why you keep up your training. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just we're gonna run look in this one. It's bad for his heart. Interesting. Board is back in session. Miss Lotta Heart. Your research student at a university. Telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And not anything trivial or subjective. <laughs> wow, he's just strong arming everyone. Okay, what does she have to say? What does she have to say? There's an just after midnight. She's in her car. Welcome the lake. You saw two gents on a boat. So there was one bang. Then there was another bang. And then the lake with the boat. What did the two sounds come from the same direction? This is that photo. I accept it as evidence.
Yeah, those, again, there was the pistol shot three times. She stanced. What do you mean by she stanced? Man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Oh, that's like sort of she's power and she has a power as a dance. Go with a pair of hands in her head. Really, really, we have we we have we have a right to defend him. Boring <laughs> power stance. Yeah, that's that's what we do here. to have had a contradiction or testimony. Hmm. No. Are you held in contempt of court? That's... That's not your joints. Do you really think there's a contradiction with the facts and testimony? I think there was. Right, thanks for the thanks for the support, Maya. Oh, shut the fuck up, Judge. We have a right to cross-examine. Did you touch on midnight? The words was no longer prison. Oh, shut the fuck up, Phoenix. That's a stupid fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a dumb one. You were in your car. Yeah, okay, but why? Taking pictures using my research. The camera wasn't focused at the sky. The camera was focused on the lake and the sky. Sustaining his own objection. You heard there's a bang come up from the lake. Looked after he heard the noise. Fucking Von Karma. So two chance on a boat. Did you clearly see the two men? That's 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 not clear at all. Fuck it, press further. I'm willing to lose. You saw the two men. And there's another bang. Yes. Yeah. He's objecting to every single thing. That's not in the. <laughs> I think I hate. You. I think I hate him too. I didn't like but that boat. Fuck it. Press further. You scanned the whole lake? Fucking hell.
How many outbursts? That's anything what can I do? No, no, we have not. You, you don't have the right to object. You need to use the facilities. <laughs> Maya, in reality, would be in contempt of court and will be sent in. <laughs> Why isn't corner playing? Because because Lotta isn't cornered right now. Oh, inside away. Oh. Slam the deck. Desk slam. That she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. A change of testimony and of a right to cross examine again. No, we're not in contempt of course. Judge side with me. What the hell is Shonen? Yep, yeah, Maya is. <laughs> Getting arrested now? <laughs> I don't know what a shonen anime is. I'm afraid I'm, I'm not weeb enough. I, I, I have not graduated from, like, level 0.5 weeb. Better find a contradiction in there. Anime made for younger men. Isn't that just, like, a Saturday morning cartoon? Ah, okay. That last statement. Okay. But the photo says otherwise. <laughs> Look at this photograph! I ah, oh, I really need to get that sound one second. Um, look at this photograph. Pull it. Um, I need to find a really short clip of it. Ah, oh, why is it like nowhere? Is it here? There we go. <laughs> yeah, so it was foggy, so you couldn't have seen him. Yeah, she's just saying she saw him, just so she could be in court as a... As a witness. <laughs> That's why I told her to hide it in her testimony. Why are you revealing that you're, like, hiding evidence? 
<laughs> he just admitted to tampering. How was Edgeworth seen? That was. Got back in the car. Brought your binoculars. But it was still foggy. Oh, my, the miss was thick. Yeah, we're gonna press when we can. For God's sake. Oh, shut the fuck up, Judge. <laughs> Nobody loves me. <laughs> Got an automatic. Shut the fuck up, Karma. <laughs> it's got a gun. <laughs> you brought your binoculars. The star is correct. Oh, yeah. Hmm. No, it's not. It took the photo. The reason why it's pointed to the lake is supposed to the sky. If you believe it is, you may continue with the line of questioning. Press further. Yep. What? Continue with the line of questioning. I mean, can we bully the judge? The camera said it would take pictures of a meteor shower. But it wasn't. Yeah, she wasn't thinking too straight, so she wouldn't... to challenge intellect. The camera said to take pictures, but... But the photo... was set at the lake. Do I set this? Or this? I feel like it's one of these two. There we go, we got her. Says a me, a Mario. Yeah. To find a camera Oprah's take photos of the stars. Tender Bench, she was taking trying to take a photo of Gordy. I think she's trying to take a picture of Gordy. That's why the camera was focused at the lake and not in the not in the sky. Sighting a Gordy Lake. Prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Here, let's see if I have proof. What is proof that the witness is trying to photograph Gordy, the lake monster? Um. Uh. 
Um, let's check this first. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? This is the camera set for a loud noise. Because the article... Um, the article said there was a loud bang. Is the camera itself? What do people think? I'm about 60% sure that it's the camera, but I could be wrong. Seems plausible. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Oh, by the way, I have purchased the lake of the sky. True. Um, I have purchased Scorn, so Scorn will be ready to play whenever, when it releases 10 days from now. So we will have that going. Um, also, what are people's thoughts of if I do the occasional Marauders stream? Maybe play with people if people are up for it. Photos of the lake, not the sky. Is this it? No, well, it's not that. Go home, consider a career change. Um. Well, uh, maybe it's the camera. Uh, Marauder? Uh, let me put a link into... The, the Discord. There. Yeah, it was the camera, I thought so. How about Gordy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Marauder is kind of like a Tarkov light. It's like between Tarkov and Hunt in terms of seriousness. Okay, now, now here's the thing. Von Karma's gonna say, well, that changes nothing. That, yeah, so what? Yeah, that's gonna change how things are. <laughs> Why does an idiot who thinks monsters exist? Karma just dragging everyone through the mud. Because there's more than one photo. Yeah, so he was shot once. There was two bangs. The gun was fired three times. Our new testimony. Yeah, that would have been fairly easy to verify. I was get a photographer. A picture of the monster. Heard a bang. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. Saw a flash near one man's hands. I heard another gunshot. Why are you. Why are you objecting? I have the right to cross examine. This is a new testimony. 
It's materially different. Objection. Yeah. Right to cross examine. <laughs> Shut the fuck up on Karma. What do you mean, last chance? Hello? How are you doing, Toxin? We're dealing with an utter asshole of a prosecuting attorney. Okay, that's press. We'll press everything, but I think I know what the issue is. For I'll shut the fuck up. Photographer. I I can word good me. A UFO? Oh, a UFO. Yeah. A <laughs> UFO. The investigative photographer. <laughs> Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill. <laughs> the judge just said, just, just fucking drop it, she's not going to. That's why you're camping by the lane. Okay. Borrowed from a university professor. Okay, cool, cool, that's fine, that lines up. That night, how many times? Are you sure? Who, who the fuck are you? Who, who will be competing with you? Well, actually... <laughs> Except the fact that if you're tampering with a witness, that throws out everything and puts you in at least disciplinary. You heard a buying look straight out of the lake. Sounded like a gunshot. Not sharper sound than I would have expected. Much else to look at, so just watch that boat the whole time. Hmm. Wasn't much else to look at. There's any time looking at a boat. Definitely suspicious. Okay, is that a hint that's something? There's something in the last segment. Just look as I just watched the boat the whole time. But what evidence is there? Hmm, I'm not sure what evidence to bring in here. How many more segments are there? So I flashed near one man's hands and, and I heard another gunshot. But the victim was only shot once. What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? I, sorry, I'm I'm in my puzzle solving mode right now. There wasn't much else to look at. Um
Phoenix had to bring in some evidence. Play nonsense. Oh, yeah, of course. Watch the boat the whole time. If you were looking for Gordy, why were you looking at the boat? Do I try presenting the article that shouldn't you have been looking for Gordy? Objection! Yep, that seems to have worked. Makes any normal person would, but you're not normal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, get wrecked. What did you do if you heard a loud noise? We scanned the lake for any sign of Gordy. Is she wearing, like, super thick soled shoes? Talked about through the binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You didn't have to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here we go. She wanted her 15 minutes of fame. That's <laughs> totally uncalled for. I took the photo and... What's your pile? <laughs> Photograph to prove it. They can't tell from the photo who was shooting. Uncalled for and a crime, is it not? Yeah, uh, what's a crime? Okay, we have to push it. Make her show the enlargement. You can't just wait and see what happens. You have to make her show the enlargement. Look at this photograph. Um, yeah, so she was vague. So really, at most, because... She was vague and kind of non-committal, and she said that she was sure until then. At most, I would say that she would, that, um, she'd just be entirely impeached and just not called on again. Now this is, this is when Von Karma should be, uh, should be, yet again, brought before a disciplinary hearing. Here we go. Cornered. On what grounds? The person's left-handed. The poor abused bench. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what is it? Um, Edrith points with his right hand. He's right-handed, isn't he? The shooter's left-handed.
<laughs> oh, shut the fuck up on karma. The wedge is not decisive. No, shut the fuck up, Judge. I do. Object to the enlargement? Show other evidence. Um, what do I mean by object to the enlargement? Do I bring up a testimony? Let me look at the court record for a second. Edward's right hand, and he was shot left handed. Yeah, show their evidence. I need to show other evidence. Um, object. Okay. I thought I was objecting to the photo being uh, admitted. We get cornered again. The judge was strange about this photo. Yeah, because the shooter is left handed. The shooter? I was talking about the shooter. Exactly. Evan's left hand contradicts. It was the right hand. However, the prince and the murder weapon were from out of the right hand. <laughs> oh, he's using Edward's sword. <laughs> well, Edward, if you fired the pistol that night. Cool, so he's free, right? That's not my job. <laughs> we have no idea about that. Uh who but the defendant could have shot the victim? Um, not Miss Hart. The victim himself? You, man friend. I think Japan tends to go over someone's gonna take the blame for a crime, guilty or not. <sighs> That's fucking dumb. <laughs> Why? The distance at which he was shot. From further than a meter away. A meter? Well, that's three feet. They're, they're converting it for the Americans in the audience. <laughs> Shot approximately one meter away. The bullet bounced. N n n n n n n no. 
the gun reveal in the shooter was not an edge ring. Yeah, it, it's it's a. Okay. <laughs> No, you get the police to investigate. You get the police to investigate all of this, not the lawyers. <laughs> yeah, that's not celebrate too early. Was it was about a meter? Or was it at least a meter away? It was approximately one meter away. Okay, so not just minimum. I did not murder him! Hello there! Hey monkeys, how are you just doing? We've just finished the first day of trial. or something for him. He's gonna say thanks. He's gonna say thanks. He's gonna kill his soul to say thanks. Motherfucker. <laughs> so I'm gonna show up trial tomorrow. Was the bang she heard. Two sounds like gunshots. Okay, so we're into the next day. Hmm. December 26th? Because she wants to feel useful. <laughs> One second. Let's do a talk. If it hadn't been for her, the trial would have been done there. Get bail money ready? You can pay for me, okay. Okay, one second. Um, How long do people stay in jail for contempt of court? Okay. So up to 180 days, up to one year. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can be in contempt of contempt of court again. One year for contempt, what the fuck? Yeah, it's at least in the US it, it varies per state. I guess it depends on how much. Um uh, honestly, I think I think as long as it'll be a fine um jail sentence, maybe it was a bit more of a thing. Not that should more court levels of contempt, yeah, basically. from this pistol, yeah, but it was the wrong hand. Because he picked it up like an idiot. Okay, here, I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice, and, if, and do not do crimes. Um, but if someone shoots someone with a gun, 
or tries to shoot at you with a gun, and the gun drops, and the other person's dead, don't touch the gun. Ever. <laughs> you... You point, the, you point the police to the gun and say, hey, that's there. Unless for some reason you need to use it to defend yourself. Including the gun. Or maybe just pictures of the gun. No. The fishing poles go down to the lake. Fishing pole me by. I think you are actually. That's strange. Yep. It, it's it's Well, here's the lake photo. And you can't see the faces. Nope, nothing there. Camera. My b -b badge. You shouldn't let anyone say, I'm a lawyer! You need to defend yourself, just push them into metal fence to get skewered. That is very true. 3D examine each piece of evidence. Oh, that could be good. Uh, if you need to defend yourself, just push them into metal fence. That's why I have metal, metal fences uh, everywhere in the house, in case someone breaks in and just push them onto metal fence. Just do your fucking homework, that's what you do. Let's go to Grossberg first. He's on vacation today. Okay, so not today, tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, my friend's in jail, I should probably do something about that. Criminal Affairs, and Gumshoe's not here. I do a fight with the Chief for not following protocol. Okay. Uh, are you walking around with a gun? I mean, it's America, right? Shouldn't... Isn't it my, um... Second Amendment right to walk around with a gun that's not mine, that's evidence in a murder case. Just use the gun to break your friend out. It's a fucking 22 handgun. Mm. I'm seeing Larry around today. Beyonce. Um, go back to the woods. There's Gumshoe. I mean, every game's technically a point of like, adventure if you're using a mouse. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow's trial. Anything to say about tomorrow's trial? Bring in another witness. They forget he's a cop. Uh, there were two witnesses. Yeah, okay. Except for the fact of fucking Von Karma knows, and in Discovery I should know what witnesses are coming up. Are you afraid of earthquakes? Doesn't want to talk about himself too much. Prosecutor. Instead of earthquakes, 
charge up with that incident. DL6 incident. It still feels the pain now. My FFA. Okay. Let her go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> His upper lip trembled. He was overwhelmed with emotion. How much is bail going to be? Your, oh, Edgeworth is paying it. Cool. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he he's going to have to pay for the defense. I don't think there's anything new here, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything new here. Let's go to the boathouse. That dude takes... takes some really deep breaths. Okay, nothing there. Do I go pick up Maya? What did he do this time? <laughs> yep, Edgeworth paid for it. He was grateful for what you did. Okay, what to do? Gordy isn't a clue. And they head back over there? We're really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. Okay, well then let's go back to the fucking park again, I suppose. Right back at the precinct, working with the case against Edgeworth. Oh god, it's her again. Why is she here? <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> really, you think that testifying that could decide... Uh, hu another human being's future and or life is is a responsibility eh? okay let's see she's trying new things <laughs> fucking roasted Uh, Maya, you know she's the reason why you got put into a, uh, why you had to shout in court and got put in jail? We find the next time it's a murder. Like, that's gonna be next time. Oh yeah, the first time. Any luck on Gordy? I was only stalking the flames of Gordy fever. Okay, so she's gonna use it for her own gain, of course. Finish your spirit medium training first. Let's see. You got a bit of information for us. Cool. Perfect. Anything will help. Oh, more uh, witness tampering. Little exchange. 
Of course, I'll exchange to make it up to you. So are you like a public defender? No, um, we are... We... At least he's, so some people are dedicated public defenders. At least in the American system, um, you can, as a private attorney, you can do public service work. I think that's meant to help pay off your, um, your law school fees. Uh, but no, we're, we're just generally a defense attorney. Yeah. I mean, people focus on defense, people focus on prosecution, and um, Phoenix is focused on defense. Criminal defense lawyer. No, we're not. Shut the fuck up, Lotta. Here, let's do a fucking deal. We need whatever she has. Yeah, no other choice. Only fair exchange information is information. Okay. Information about Gordy. Okay, sure. Okay, let's bring her proof that Gordy doesn't exist. What we'll do is we'll get we'll get a we'll hire a scuba team with sonar, and they will do a sweep of the lake. And basically, yeah. Gordy, shut up. Really? Maya? 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 Monster Myth Specialist. Sure, well, we're gonna have to look for clues. The fuck? Isn't that show over? American, German, Japanese, Brazilian... Russian? What is that? Is that... Burmese? Not sure what that one. Korean, Chinese, UK, Australia. Not Russian? I mean, I'm just wondering if they just got the color wrong. I don't know. I don't know what flag that is. Is supposed to be the Netherlands? I don't know. He's out of his Santa suit. Looking a little white. Yeah, that's why that's why I was wondering, um if just the colours were off. a lot of people, and that show's finished now. She's got them for free. Let's see about Edgeworth, will we? Why are you sweating? Edgeworth's secret weakness? You don't go around telling people about other people's fears, Maya. That's really bad, eh? We were only in the same class for a little bit. Why did he transfer? Oh, he transferred when his dad died. Gotcha. The big Samamurai? When did you get that big thing? I love about a month. It's a big hit with the kids. The compressor was busted. The air compressor? That used to put air in the steel samurai. Okay. Uh, one second. That balloon. Was one of the bangs there's a balloon going off?
Hmm. This doesn't work for her. You okay, Colsta? You're you're doing Pog Champ. Now you're thinking with portals. Well, we have we actually have portal on the list on the wheel on the list of games. I'm not sure if it's on the wheel right now. Is it on the wheel right now? It's not on the wheel right now. Um. Okay, we got those two. I think that's basically everything worth. Oh. Hmm. War of the Eyeglasses. You don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? What the hell is the War of the Eyeglasses? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Eh? <laughs> um, anything we can present to him? Let's go from right to left. No. 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 That's on. <laughs> Do you think Gordy really exists? Okay, cool. <laughs> keep selling. Keep, keep on that capitalist train there, bud. Anything new? Nope, okay, let's move. Uh, is the bell rental on? Oh, oh. Is the, the yeah boat rental open yet? Only for cheating girlfriends, yeah. It's always so quiet. Who here has been arrested of a crime? I have not. Uh, I have not been arrested or convicted of any crime that has been found. Anything new to say about here? Yeah, okay. Uh, no. Let's go to the woods. There might be something new here. I don't know. Oh, this music. Hmm. A sneeze? <laughs> Look at that sign back there. The no camping sign? <laughs> I know. This is the next case. Everyone will... <laughs> <laughs> Nick pay the lady. Arrest her. I'm not a police officer. I know I'm doing the job with the police, but I'm not a I'm not a cop. So Phoenix is Phoenix's wallet is just being abused. Okay. You're just putting it behind her and avoiding it. Okay, fine. You have a gun, or <laughs> that's not how it works, monkeys. Just having a gun doesn't mean I can arrest someone. Was it a good one? Oh, that UFO. Oh, really? Two fucking photos? That's it, you're not going to quit? Everything will for part of the system if you have a gun. Oh, no. Oh, that's not finished. Interesting. 
Okay, so this is all the same thing again. I don't know why it's not. Maybe I have to get the other thing. Can I present anything? Nothing. Nothing. What if you get a picture of Gordy? That turns out like this enlargement did. <laughs> I do play Rust. Yeah, something like that. Like this into the paper. Get erect. Maybe he's also something you didn't see. Nothing. What about this? Didn't have that Edward would be in prison or worse. Do they just like me to go, okay, you're guilty, go to the back of the courthouse and we'll shoot you now? We'll just cap you that in there. <laughs> the judge. <laughs> just imagine just the witnesses stand is also just where the judge just pulls out like a sawed off single barrel shotgun. Is the sensitivity mic. And the badge. Okay. Nothing more. We have to find any evidence of Gordy. Uh, well, we're just going to keep looking around then, I suppose. No, nothing new here. Anything in the background I need to be worried about? <laughs> if you're shocked and said it was backing the cow. <laughs> Oh, we already went through this whole conversation. Let's try the boat rental shop again. Nope. Let's go to the front. Maybe we have to go somewhere else first. And... No, you're 17. Don't talk like that. Fucking shooter. Sorry, that was on reflex. You fell breath. No, you came with me. Any, Any ideas? Okay, so. Present. Any info? Okay, fucking right. Fucking whatever. Uh, Criminal Affairs Department, anything new? Here's Gumshoe. You can go and do something that's going to hurt. Besides some money. Investigation. It's not. We have another meeting coming up. And his motive is fairly clear. But he didn't do it. I mean, yeah, the mo the motive is quite clear, to be honest. And um... yeah, shooting the guy that got his father's killer off the hook—that's a clear motive. Uh, but he wasn't the one that fired the gun. Not personally. We should be focusing on Edgeworth. I've been doing a little questioning for me then. About the deal with Lada. 
go telling him sooner. Oh, look at that, like he, he flew off the handle. Well, they your search for Gordy. Only one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Take whichever one you like. Secret weapons. Okay, let's let's get this. Is it a sniper rifle? Missile. Oh, a training dog. <laughs> if it were beneficial, it didn't help you. Why is a Shiva Inu? Going to be a canine. What? Why a fucking Shiba? <laughs> a fishing pole. Just a little bamboo pole with string on the end. He is baby. <laughs> Never know till you try. <laughs> you got the old broad fucking Pokemon knives. A metal detector. Uh, we're going by adventure game rules here, Phoenix. If you can carry it, you take it with you. <laughs> um, we just go down in order. Borrow missile. Well, these are all things to help us down at the lake. So go to the lake. Come back and switch them out. I'm pretty sure. One important, you would be able to take it. Very cute, shiny eyes. Um. And then say about this. You can't really tell. He's one being shot. Well, the other guy may have missed. Saying so you have to respect the evidence. No one else seems to fucking respect the evidence. Well, I suppose let's just go back to the let's go back to the lake. The public beach. Miss has been acting strangely. <laughs> the little creature. Wow, Phoenix. Wow. You may not like dogs, but you still call it a dog. <laughs> oh no. It's Colsta. <laughs> and you're the angry Shiba. The samurai dogs. He ate every single one. It's going to have to this time. Yeah. Present the dog. Also, do you think just shouting missile in Japan is poor taste? Um, it's like it's different. Um, Japan's extra suns came from bombs, not missiles. <laughs> Big boss, where's Big Boss? Oh, North Korea shot a missile over Japan today. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Uh, North Korea is probably going to get its um, 
teeth kicked in if it does anything. Especially since I think the US is still technically, like, has like a protection agreement with Japan. I hate li- Oh yeah, what's the thing? May you live in interesting times is a curse, not a- it is a curse, not a- not a wish of good fortune. And let's go to the shop. Does he have anything at the shop here? No. Um, they're just doing it as a show of force. Yeah, uh, show force enough times and someone's going to respond. Uh, let's see about the woods. Uh, here, have a look at the dog. Okay, please dog, his name is Missiles. Oh no, she has bot on her. No, that didn't work. Hmm. <laughs> Where's the coach? Okay, I have a feeling that missile maybe was the wrong move to start off with. Oh, maybe let's talk to Edgeworth. Okay, that's a move then. Uh, heart. H-A-R-T. No, he's not here. Uh... Let's go to Criminal Affairs and swap Missile out. I'll take back last one then, she's from policy. Uh, fishing pole. Let's use the fishing pole. It breaks be sure to dispose of it properly. Well, here's the thing about a bamboo fishing pole. Is that... Uh, if it breaks, it's fairly natural material, so you can just leave it somewhere to decompose. In fairness, now, Detective Dick Gumshoe was amazing. As a name. Um, there you go, Public Beach. What do we present to you? Our fishing pole. Yeah. Uh, Apollo Justice, I think, is a bit too on the nose. <laughs> okay, uh, let's examine the I can't re- It says it's already done, so I guess I can't re-examine it. And... Let's move to the rental shop. Okay, nothing new there. Um, what if I go to the woods again? Oh, something new. Okay, well, let's do a bit of fishing. Hmm. <laughs> fucking use the dog as bait. <laughs> Based Phoenix. She hit him. Based. Uh, based on animal cruelty, it seems he is. There's another roll of filling. <laughs> Nick Payer. <laughs> that present. Ok, 
Okay. Nothing new to talk about. We haven't got any evidence about Gordy. I guess we go back for the metal detector? Did I just do the completely wrong one right off the bat? Nope. Well, let's go to the Criminal Affairs Department. You're hunting for a monster, anything is possible. Secret Weapons 3. What is... <laughs> Borrow all of Gumshoe's secret weapons, okay. What's the plan for the metal detector into the lake? I have no idea, and neither does Phoenix, to be honest. Um, so right now I'm doing the normal adventure game thing of, of you get everything and rub every object on every problem and hope that something connects. What uh, percent? Okay. Well... Again. Oh, that's something. <laughs> if we bring it over to Lot, it's going to set off her camera. <laughs> because I told you to. I pay you. An air tank. So that was probably a bang. If the valve broke, that would already be in the bushes. What's a completely unrelated corpse? But that corpse is also connected to DLZ6 somehow. String of flags. My certified shimbo. Uh, what is what is a shimbo? You're gonna have to educate them. The air tanks can be pretty fucking heavy. She himbo. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, let's present with this thing. Yeah, an air tank. Is it yours? Get auto modded. That's a bimbo question mark? eyes twitching. We've, we've quartered Larry out in public. There are strings of flags everywhere these days. <laughs> why why are we doing why are we doing like a questioning here and now? I see. I'm gonna let you deal with the whole bimbo thing because I don't know why it keeps coming up. <laughs> Stop saying that word. <laughs> Presser I always use on the front, so I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. He overpressured it. Ask more about the tank. Alright, I really don't want to talk about it. Eh? I tried to fill the samurai up with that. You didn't, you couldn't regulate the pressure, so the balloon popped. <laughs> Albus had opened made this incredible noise. Oh, shut the fuck up. The flying air tank. That could have killed someone, Larry. What 
20 a week ago. Went out every night in a boat looking for it. And when did you find it? The night before last. We have four whole days to find the night before last. Okay, so Larry was out on the lake on a night of murder? That's that's pretty fucking Im What do you mean roll cornered? What do you mean roll cornered? As in press the button I have on my thing to play cornered? Play the objection noise. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we went home before midnight. You, see, you're, you still should have told us. Yeah, well, nope. We need to go talk to... Lara. Right, where is she? There she is. Let's show her the metal detector to see if we can waste another roll of film. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to go off and set off the camera. And... Okay, I guess I have to just talk to her directly. Authority doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, Maya. How, one second, how old is, um, how old is Lotta? 22. You're smarter than this. Of course I have proof. Except for me. This is the object. This, this is the this is this is the objection track. So, the stand near here, a hot dog stand. An idiot who happens. An idiot who happens to be a friend of mine. That, that, that's how I'm going to describe some people from now on. An idiot who happens to be a friend of mine. At the same time, that photo was taken. Can I send Maya home to do some training? So I can get Mia back, please? Can I ask get the case information, please? Overheard the cops or something about the witness tomorrow. Said the caretaker will rental place up the path here. Okay, let's go talk to him. Okay, what else? Night of the murder? Yeah, we know that. You said that before. Yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the lake. You're not ready for this? I'm now scared of what's going to happen. Because I know Coles has played this. I have not. Empty lake, take it automatically. Any experience work, a lake monster is not the weirdest possibility. To be fair, um, a lot of people don't seem to believe in the spirit mediums either. 
Well, we broke her dreams. I think that's, that's a god job well done. <laughs> when something smells, it's usually the butts. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Well, let's go back here. And go to the boat rental! Yeah, we've been here before, Maya. Anyone in the bushes? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Then we go back. Oh, we go in. Okay. He's popping up with the Paris. Me have keeps popping up with the barest parts of a shirt. I mean, yeah, they have to keep the adults interested. Fishing rod, parrot. Oh, he seems dozing. Nick, you have those Aaron from Game Grumps? I never watched Game Grumps. Gives off murder vibes. I mean, I'm sure he knows more than he seems to be putting on, but... You go run the past the shop and I'm gone. To be fair, I would love a fucking pack. So near... Complete town around. Shopping center near me. There used to be this guy who had a pass and stuff. Um, he had a trader that would, and he would, the trader would pull up, and he used to sell fresh pasta he would make himself in like a lunchbox. It was fantastic. We used to go down every time he was down there and get pasta from him. He was great. It only lasted a few months, and then he either ran out of money or moved somewhere else. I don't know, but I miss him. Yeah. I mean, we have a pasta machine. We can make... We sometimes do make our own homemade pasta. Um, I have seen this other machine, though. I saw it on the sort, sorted food, food gadget thing, where you just put the flour, the egg, and the oil up the top, and press go, and it does the mixing, the kneading, and then it do does the extrusion, and all you have to do is you have to just cut the pasta off as it comes in. It's one of those things of, it may not be the peak perfect pasta, because the dough doesn't really rest, but it's a thing of, I want fresh pasta now. Hmm. Need a wet noodle. The name is Pasta Shop. The, pa the parrot's going to be evidence, isn't it? Because it has that image, the parrot is going to be evidence. Oh, while well, he's asleep, let's examine. Electric blanket on his table. Why an electric blanket on the table? Oh, okay. Looks like a kitchen unit. Except it's clean except for all that dirt, you know. That bird is fucking huge. He's running a pasta shop here. I don't know what species of parrot that is. Gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly. Paris name is Polly. The erstwhile companion book has just the name Polly. To be fair, that could just be like a tiny TV, but I doubt it's a tiny TV. In secret words.
Okay, so... I would love a pet bird, to be honest. Oh my god, I just noticed what's gonna happen. What do you mean? Or is fish in Gordon Lake around here? Okay, oh, the details about fish, gotcha. An angler fish? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, don't go snoop. <laughs> the guy's here. You can't just go opening his safe. You don't have to wait to and see. Pet birds after decades. I want either a pet bird or a pet um tortoise. Fishing rod. It's an expensive fishing rod. Okay. Now anything else here I can inspect? No. The good rod. Pasta shop. Some of the 17. Yeah. Go through his trash. Nah, it wouldn't let me. Let's to the third generation. You could have dough tossing. Master Wrangler. Uh, that, that's that's how we're going to um, address the uh, address any Italians in chat. Like uh, just call them Pasta Wranglers. Take offense to that. Good, you were meant to. Best pass made west of the Rockies. I think he's wrong. On the family charade. <laughs> Toxie, also Toxie, you haven't done your uh, ab so positively in a while. Palace of Pasta. I'll look him up and say, yo, dude, I'm gonna ride one of your bones. It isn't going anywhere. But that's some way of getting information out of him. Okay. Let's talk about Polly. He does absolutely anything. Memory's gotten worse of late. Everything important to old Polly here. We've got to find a place for it now. One, two, two, eight. <laughs> yes, yeah, can open the snake right in front of him. Can I examine it now? But you know the code. Oh well. Present. The fact this animation is slow kind of annoys me. Brain bowly only. Indigo blue. Okay. Second lake photo? I wish I could skip by that animation. They made pasta gay. <laughs> They're putting stuff into the water to make the pasta gay. Let's see, anything he says gonna be of use? No. Is that bird molting, or is that just poop on the newspaper? Hmm. 
Misty Fay. Nope. Well, again, I guess what? Otherwise, it's completely straight. <sighs> My chat. I put up with you. But that doesn't mean I'm not disappointed in you. Absolutely fuck all. Gonna completely run through it though, just so I don't look like an idiot. That one thing that I didn't, didn't think is connected, but it is connected. My god, the badge. You're not keys. You're just only slower than the others. Yeah, there's a lot of filler. Some some go much faster. This has a lot of filler. One condition. You'll run the wet noodle. We'll run the wet noodle. Yeah, I don't like using walkthroughs though. Maya? No. Talk the bird again, how again to talk to us. If I present this again? Hmm. Maybe we need just change one of the things from uh We need to change one of the things from uh from Gumshoe, that's it. What if we get the dog? Can I get a meeting to go to? Oh god damn it. We need to swap the thing. Is Edgeworth here? No. Is Grossberg back? No. Is there anything at the offices? No. I mean, I didn't want to make him feel bad by acknowledging it. Nothing. He's not here. Okay. Am I missing something? Well, clearly I'm missing something, but what am I missing? Rob him? Okay, sure. Here's the gun. Every piece of evidence. Uh, I presented everything when he was asleep. I'm gonna wake up again now. Nothing. He's he's giving different responses, so I'm guessing I have to go through everything again.
One should be fine. Hmm. Oh? That was a nope on Gordy. Yep, I see. Oh, here we go. Key. It's okay, you can call me Dad. Another night out on the lake. He saw it. Okay. Taking over the shop and all. Okay, let's just do the rest of this. Just in case we miss anything else. He done seen it. I done witnessed it. I already I already did the um other thing. What you saw. Heard this bang. Looked outside. Heard a second bang. That lines up. A while later, this boat comes back, and man walked by my window here. Muttering something to himself. <laughs> Remember by court time, sure. Fucking whatever. Maybe Polly knows. Little Terry was just here. I forgot. Goddamn Twitch chat. There we go. Then pre there's people as well. I'm gonna tell them to come down to court tomorrow. One more question. Holly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget DL6. Why does this know DL6? Don't forget DL6. Why does Polly know about DL6? Yep, he locked us out. He definitely knows more than he lets us on. It is Gumshoe finished with his meeting? Birds in on it? Birds never commit any crimes ever. What's wrong this time? The boat caretaker. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow. Discovery means that we should get knowledge of who and what's going to appear in court. I'm going to get a straight answer out of him. Mm -hmm. So who he is? No idea. Sounds suspicious. Okay, what about the DL6 incident? Really? You, you can't help but think. So you think the, uh, the son of the person who died in the DL6 incident, the defending attorney in the DL6 incident, and uh, the parish that talked about the DL6 incident, you think that all might be connected somehow, possibly, maybe? Made us from reading the final. Well, I guess I should go talk to Edgeworth and get that DL6 file. Because that's going to be the key to everything.
What do you mean it's not connected? Um, everything's connected. Play from the point. That incident, DL6. I sound like a crazy person. Don't forget DL6. That old man must have taught her that word. How did old man know about the DL6 incident? Yeah. A lot of that old man was the murderer in DL6. Station's records room? Alrighty, let's go. It's Japanese media, yes. Did you need a flashback? To be fair, it's also a case of if at any time you pause, you pause, save the game and leave and come back. Um, it's so that it just keeps you refreshed. That's, that's how I'd put it. It's amazingly dusty. Nine years old. I'm suddenly transferred because of DL6? Question mark? Okay. Hey, summary. Taking a wee drink. Over 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. Wait, is this based in 20... No. Is it? Hey Ryan, how are you doing? Uh, in District Court news. Okay, so the murder took place in the courthouse. Large earthquake at 2 p.m. that day. That's why Edgeworth is scared of earthquakes. It reminds him of that day. And, uh, I found my week up perfectly, so my three days of work is so going to six days of work. Okay. Are you still up for playing Thursday, maybe? Um, I would really like to try at Marauders with you. I think it'd be great fun. Some earthquake. Three people were trapped in the elevator. We've had five hours for them to be rescued. And that's fine. There's lack of... What? Shoot myself in the leg if I need to? I have no idea what you mean by that. There is a lack of oxygen. Lack of oxygen. Shot in the heart. Through that. Looks like either that, either that came from outside in or inside out. That his father was shot before his very eyes. He's one of the other passengers in the elevator. We're avoiding the military. Washing yourself in foot, like foot. Um, honestly, Ryan, the excuse I always use that always worked is... Um... I have a very bad case of the runs. And I can't stay more than, like, ten meters from a toilet. Thing. Wickton Wickton Gregory Edgeworth, a thirty-five defense attorney. Yeah, uh, but I'm the boss. I don't think I'll accept that excuse. I have to injure myself. 
To be fair, do you want someone in work that's just shitting everywhere? Well, that's Edward, of course, so he was in the Elevatron. Suicide, yeah. A weapon of pistol was found in the elevator. So that was an exit? It's been fired two times. The pistol's been fired three times in total. So that other bang was something else. That other bang was not that pistol. Like this current case. You don't suspect in there? The man arrested the suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. Who the fuck is Yanni Yogi? It's a clerk. This has been the third person left. Okay. So what's going on here? The suspect Mr. Yogi was auctioned to prime so much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. That's the boat caretaker. Okay, so I don't know what sort of impact the whole thing has on Edgeworth. DL6 case file. Okay, so that's the summary, I'm guessing. It's the trial tomorrow. Okay, so now we have to get back to the good part, which is the day, in, which is the court part of the day. Back of eyes. Yeah, the, the core parts are always the best. Uh, this investigation was dragging a bit. Everyone's favorite part. Do you know this game, Ryan? I thought you didn't know Phoenix, Phoenix Wright games. Fence is ready. I've been the trial part. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Very well, no opening statements. You didn't say anything, Karma. Shut the fuck up. You're taking a meaningful pause. Shut the fuck up. A prediction. We'll end three minutes from now. Wesker vibes. Most of you question everything. It'll be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I'll call our witness now. <laughs> uh, I, I can definitely imagine just like on his shoulder there, like an Imperial Inqui Inquisition marking, and he would just fit directly into 40k. State your profession. The wet noodle. Hardcore Puritan. I the incident you're in the boat rental shop, correct? Score witness is a brain damaged old man. Yeah, so in this ad. Uh, Trials had to only last three days, and 99% of people are found guilty. And for some reason, proving that the accused is innocent isn't enough. I have to find someone else to take the fall for it. <laughs> Raise an objection. It hasn't stated his name yet. <laughs> we're, we're, we're the opposite side. Why would we? Mm. 
Mm, he's hiding it. It's like Dragon Ball. It's only worth three minutes where I just keep going. Yeah. We can't recall his own name. But does he have any kind of ID? Is there any record of him? Night the 24th is our midnight. In the restaurant where I rent boats. Heard a bang. Okay, one bang, that's fine. Floating on the lake. Heard another bang. Boat comes back to shore and a man walks by it. His window. Don't key witness, don't mention serious memory problems. Yep, basically. Object to me cross examining. That isn't how court works. And that for three minutes are up. Yeah, cross examine. This guy's so bad as I. Apparently, in 40 years, he's never lost a case. Apparently. <laughs> He's angry that his prediction failed. Take another little drink. Knight of the Moiter. <laughs> Just after midnight. Are you sure? How do you know? You're rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. <laughs> I remembered it clearly, I did. Hmm. Well, I guess Polly could. <laughs> Even I'm starting to believe this prosecutor, he's just so confident. Daddy <laughs> Watt's not good enough. This Polly is a parrot. That's not an objection. Heard a bang. Okay. From the lake, I figure. Good. Continue. <laughs> it's like he, he acts like everything he says is just fact and questioning it as wrong. Well. Far out there, I couldn't see clearly. You couldn't see them clearly. At the time, that is. What does he mean by at the time? Heard a second bang. Is there two gunshots total? But then the boat comes back to shore and a man knocks by his window. Could you see the man's face? Please add it to your testimony. Hmm. That man was the fan of you saying, I can't believe he's dead. Okay, let's press it. Dad. <laughs> Got me 
I don't believe he's there, he's walking by too. That doesn't- that isn't any admission of guilt or anything. That edge of Okay, well, he's fucking down. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. Raise an objection. That it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that. Well, the fog was too thick to be certain. The fog was too thick to be certain at the distance, but he said that because Edgeworth walked right beside the window he's on. And the gun. Like I'm showing him on firing with his left hand. Yes. Easily explainable. Could have wiped his fingerprints after he fired. No. What? This is claims that Edward said, I can't believe he's dead. But his word is all we can. Hmm. But you're. But you, the evidence has all, but you're relying on a witness testimony. Do we have evidence? Hmm. 15 minutes isn't bad. <laughs> oh god. What? What? No for misinterpretation of the We need Sean in here, even if it wasn't this one. I told Sean that, I was, that this is. This is the game I'm playing, but he... I think he's just busy. Finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Quilty. Can I try a higher court? Fuck. Larry. <laughs> oh, Larry. He was there in the park. The gunshot. But you said you left before then. Verdict has been decided. <laughs> the paperwork's not done yet. Gunshot that night. He's sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. He said it was different from what I remember. Okay. Okay, what, what is Larry going to say? If only it wasn't Larry, he could make things even worse. If there's another witness, our duty to hear him speak.
<laughs> You're the judge, you can speak your opinion fucking whenever. Really, is that why 99% of people get, get a, a guilty verdict? The judge actually doing something right? Or do you to call this new witness to testify? I mean, or does every witness stand with their feet outwards? Probably. Five minute recess. Copaganda, well, this is hype as fuck copaganda. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Seen worse. No worries, Ask. I'll probably be finished by the time you get back, so I hope you enjoy. Just, just that good. Flowers at the lake that night. Then I'll start right now, but it'll be soon. Okay, no worries. Uh, I have about 10 minutes till I finish up, so. And the balloon and the air tank that moves. You seem out of it. What's wrong? Of course it's not nothing. So let me ask you. What is that? Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Because he picked it up. the lake, I went into a daze. I understand what had happened. Couldn't think straight, then I saw the pistol lying on the floor. Picked it up without thinking. Fucking idiot. This might be our chance? We never run perfect trials. Perfectly prepared witnesses, perfectly complete evidence. Such a success is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. That someone is Larry. <laughs> no time I try this time. Well, okay, so. So now we're hoping that Larry doesn't fuck up. Everything that you saw on the night of December 24th. Mm, yeah, he looks confident. <laughs> All right, let's see what Larry has to say. A boat in the lake. Okay. Looking for something and found it. So I quietly slipped the boat back in at the rental shop. So, I was thinking about going home. I heard this bang. I went over the lake. But I didn't see a boat. Okay, interesting. No idea what's going to say about Preston. Right, okay. Um, he only heard one bang. That one was out in the boat in the lake. Then you have to press him for every point. <laughs> it was after 11. Then everyone got home for the night. Just wait until the coast was... Clear, so to speak. I was looking for something, and I found it. This 
surprisingly close to the truth in a sense. Okay, uh... So I quietly slipped the boat back in at the rental shop dock. Did you steal the boat? Let's see, I figured I was, I was searching for about an hour. This was around 12, yeah, okay. Human sundial. <laughs> I was thinking about going home. You heard this bang. Where did the sound come from? Looked around, you know? Yeah, I looked. Oh, like, I didn't see a boat. Wasn't there a boat on the lake? It was real foggy. Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> That's the most important part of this case. After you heard that single gunshot, you went home. You only heard one bang. Yeah. Pretty wishy washy, you start working the contradictions. Hmm. Do we still have Lotta's testimony about two bangs? Yeah, so we'll go to we'll go to the end. Present Lotta's deposition. That there is two bangs. Okay, so only heard one. Well, I don't testify yet that she heard two. And the old man just had the same thing. Hmm. Or even. <laughs> Yo, Nick, please. Okay, what about it? I'm a witness. See, I'm like. A... No, you're not a customer. No. No, that isn't how it works. Hey, the truth, I'm not sure. You're not sure? My god, he is the worst witness. I, I might have missed the other gunshot. Uh, listening to something else. What were you listening to? His radio with his headphones? I was supposed to help and I have no idea. This this is terrible. Yeah, he's... F it's fucking awful. It's horrendous. Continue. <laughs> if you just want to be sure to include details like your radio. Stop saying leave it to me. It's lonely, being alone on Christmas Eve. That's why I was listening to an all request show on the radio, see? Listen to it. Real booming loud like. But I'm sure I heard that gunshot and remember exactly what the DJ was saying when I heard it too. Uh I was no worries, like we're only finishing up like now actually. Probably best to finish now before we get into the full questioning. But since he remembered exactly what the DJ said, we could line up the timing with the first shot. Is this a free country? No, this is Japan. Can you believe the word this witness says? Yeah, raise your objection. 
but just said he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. Dean Jane? What this means is, when he heard the sound, no music was playing. DJ only talks between songs, so he could have heard the gunshot from the lane. Okay, we're gonna save and leave it here. Um, options. Save. There. Yes. Uh, so, tomorrow, we will go into his... We will go into his... Cross-examination. Thank you, one and all, for... For uh, joining me this evening. Uh, this case is going on for a little bit of time, but... We're getting through it. Uh, for those of you who are watching and are not following, please do consider dropping a follow. It definitely helps. If you're really enjoying, please consider uh, dropping a sub. Uh, apart from that, thank you all very much, and I shall see you all tomorrow. <laughs>